This is Andrew, and we're back, and we just solved a puzzle. Bingo. Yep. Bingo. Whoa. Oh, you're so amazing. Oh, we know, I know. You don't need to tell me how good I am at everything. <laughs> at, at literally all things. Like, it, it just... I already know. It's a nice torch. I already... That, that is... You know, that is a nice torch. Good job, Elena. Thank you, Elena. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, nothing? What a big surprise. I'm actually surprised you didn't, like, walk over and use the torch to light a cigar or something. I'm honestly surprised he didn't walk over and kill himself immediately for you know, being this garbage. <laughs> I, does this look familiar? Huh. What now? Well, I'm guessing that I'm going to hit all of these. Something's going to happen. And something is something. Oh, look. I figured it out. I didn't even have to check the book. Gasp. <gasps> oh, but I was back to Phoenix. Oh. Yeah, back to Phoenix, Switch right. Promises. I have all these videos with Sully. I hate him. Here, let me see that. Why? Every single time I try to think about Phoenix Wright, he keeps bringing up <laughs> this Sully guy. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Why? <laughs> Just shut up. Look at his stupid <laughs> face. Look at his yeah, stupid, moronic, stupid face. With those I'll stupid looks on his face and his stupid face. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumb idiot. Look at my dumb expressions with my dumb face. And my stupid nose and my dumb mustache and my gray hair. Oh, my stupid wife. Watch. Maybe you should have broke your watch instead of breaking my book, you stupid garbage person. I always am. Yes, Elaine. Oh. I did not see that. <laughs> like I said, Nathan, be careful. Yes, Elena. I will. For your sake. Okay. Land of the dead. Here we go. So, now back to Phoenix Rice and Sully's gone again. Phoenix wrong is always right. Yeah, I'm doing push up. Uh oh. No, I gotta do leg lifts. Oh, boo. Oh, yeah. Oh, exercises. Squat I gotta do some stretches before I kill people. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk about with Phoenix, right? Oh, um. <laughs> as much as everybody loves watching you do pull ups, I can't get down. I legitimately can't figure out how to get down. While you're hanging, you hit circle to drop. <laughs> no, I'm stuck forever. <laughs> <laughs> I want this treasure. Th th thanks. Shut up. <laughs> not a dog, Drake. Am I still not a dog, Drake? No. No, I gotta get to not a dog, Drake. Where is it? <laughs> We're what never gonna is... talk about oh, it's statistics. It... Why am I an easy? You're not. Oh, rewards. Let me get that. Not a dog, Drake. Oh, you can be Victor Solomon. No. I can't be. Who's that? Well, take a look. Got it. <laughs> sure. We'll just run with this. I'm a mercenary. Yeah. Not a dog, Drake. Well, then it's I the can... assistant to what's his name? That's who it is. To what's his name? The main bad guy. We gonna be not a dog, not a dog, great, not a dog, great, not a dog, great, bird. Okay, I don't think I got here last. Did I get here yes. last time? We got through this whole section. Oh, I do not remember doing this. Interesting. Uh, but no, what what? annoys me about um... Phoenix Wright. Well, not necessarily Phoenix Wright, but um... <sighs> because it, it j because they also do it in Captain America Civil War. It's the whole, well, this person was brainwashed, or in Phoenix Wright case, this person is a spirit medium, and um... For whatever reason, something else was controlling their body, but then they're blamed for either the murder or whatever happens. And that, like, legitimately super annoys me because it's like, in this world, brainwashing exists. So in, in this fictional world, brainwashing is a thing. But somehow it's still that person's fault 
even though somebody else specifically brainwashed them and made them do whatever it was. Well, murder or whatnot. I mean, Civil War, I couldn't really comment on that other than just it was, you know, there for the plot, which is silly. But, although in Civil War, like, I can kind of see... Tony, er, heavy, heavy spoilers, for by Civil, the yes, way. Yes. Very spoiler episode. In, in Civil War, I can kind of see where Steve's coming from, but I still think Tony was definitely being the reasonable person in that case, at least no, until the very end. No, I get... That's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is, yes, they could have been... They could have been about... They could have... Steve Rogers should have gone about it in a completely different way um, instead of just being like, oh, I'm going to save my friend because he's my friend and blah, 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 whatever. That doesn't matter. He definitely should have, you know, not been a huge douche about literally everything. It would have definitely helped his case. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes, it would have. But what I'm saying is... Um, I, think, I know that there was another one. I know that there was another... Sniper guy? Sniper guy. Yeah, I think he's over on the other side there. Come on, dude. Yeah, there you are. Now he's gone. But, I mean, that, that I agree. As far as Phoenix Wright goes, though, like that's actually not that... Weird. I mean, it's the most extreme case, but, like, in all the Phoenix Wright games, Ace Attorney in general, I'm sure you've noticed there's this tendency to, like, guilty until proven innocent, as opposed to what we're used to here in America. And I think that's something that... Well, for one thing, I think that's something that the games kind of screwed up on by insisting that the American translation version takes place in America because it feels really weird to everybody. Did they, though? Yes. It takes place in California and in, uh... Really? Yes. Because I definitely don't remember that part. It establishes it really early in the first game. Huh. Okay, so go on, I guess. But... Because the games are such a specific comment on Wait, the Japanese this. legal system that it's really weird to see them be so... Like, if you don't understand what they're talking about, it feels really weird. Uh, but, so, so, but that's the thing, though. Like, is the prosecutor and the defense... Is, is, the, prosecu is the defense attorney, I guess for lack of a better... Are, are they really going to be the ones doing... Like, are they going to go to the crime scene and, like, get information and stuff to try to help their client or something? Well, I mean... I, I guess I don't know the specific about that in particular, but I know that, like, the parts where the prosecutor has gigantic advantages in the case and can, like, pressure the police to do what he wants and stuff, that's all very accurate. And I know... Um... In Japan, in the Japanese legal system, it's been a huge problem of the, a need for um, judicial reform because, like, basically, if you're accused, you're almost guaranteed to be found guilty. That I yeah, because that's like a huge, a huge problem. It's really difficult to get anybody off in that game for obvious reasons. Yeah, and that feels really weird if you're used to the American system where. You know, You're innocent until proven guilty. But in Japan, like, I, I was reading some articles on this, and I want to say it's something like, something like a third, at least, of judges in, in Japan have never once issued a not guilty verdict. That's insane. Yeah. But, like, can you imagine how many cases that the average judge sees and has found them guilty in every single one of those. That's just... That's... That's crazy. That's really... That's crazy. Yeah. So, that's the sort of situation that those games are criticizing, which is why the... Like, you'll get situations like, well, okay, you proved your client couldn't do it, but 
You haven't proved who did, and someone needs to go to jail. But that's insane. It is. A hundred percent it is. It's like, if you prove that they didn't do it, that they clearly didn't do it, so you're just going to send them to jail just because you didn't find the murderer in that court case? That's insanity. Yeah, it is. Uh, I guess we'll, this is a good conversation. We'll have to continue this on the next episode here. You, I don't know what there is to continue. This is just... Yeah. But see you next time. Yeah, I guess.